All right, we are live. Welcome, Eliza. Eliza, you're on the West Coast somewhere? Yes, yes. I'm awesome. in Huntington Beach. Awesome. You ready to dive in? I am. I am. Cool. Okay, where do we start? What, what do you want to throw at me first? Um, well, I mean, let's, let's talk about what's going on right now and um, how, you know, what are some ways to stay aligned? Um, there's a lot of polarity, a lot of fear, anger, anxiety. And so um, it's probably hard when um, you've got that going on all around. So what would be your message to people who are struggling in staying aligned in times like these? Yeah, and that's a great starter question because alignment should take priority over everything, right? So alignment is where we stand in our power. Um, alignment is when we're connected to source, connected to our inner guidance, connected to, you know, the, the power of the mechanism of synchronicity. So the analogy that I like to use is, you know, a human being that's out of alignment is like a cell phone that doesn't have their internet connection, right? Mm. So how useful is a cell phone going to be if you can't check your email, check Facebook, check Instagram, or check TikTok or all the social medias? So for me, when it comes to things like my business, I won't even send an email if I'm not in alignment. So alignment should always be our number one priority if being that leading edge creator is what you're really after. So great first question. So the key to alignment is A, putting your focus where it counts, right? Knowing that anytime you're focusing on things that doesn't feel good, that it's gonna pull you out of alignment. Now that doesn't mean ignoring what's going on or not giving attention to it, but it means first getting out of head of it by focusing on your alignment, getting into alignment, feeling good, and then tippy-toeing into those things that might trigger contrast, um, that might not feel so good. So that's one thing. And then the other thing to look at is, you know, it's never the circumstance that pulls us out of alignment, but it's our perspectives about the circumstance. Sure. So one common question that people have is, how do I prevent, you know, this family member from pulling me out of alignment all the time? Or how do I prevent other people from lowering my vibe? And, you know, the answer that I give is you've got three options. So option one is go live in a cave, right? Mm -hmm. So that you're not around anybody. Option two is to control other people to the point where you're making them be the person you want them to be so that you can be happy and staying in alignment. And I'm not sure if number two is any easier than number one. Um, and really number one and two aren't very valid options. And number three is the only valid option, which is exploring what triggers that they spark in you that's creating the discomfort for you, that's creating your out of alignmentness and mm -hmm. uh, working through those perspectives. Because by working through what you have going on inside that's being triggered and releasing you know, the negative emotions, the fears, whatever it is, then those people will no longer trigger you. If you've got a strong dominant emotion of not good enough, it only takes a little comment from somebody to trigger that and bring that up. But if you deal with all your emotions of not good enough and you're a strongly confident person, then what other people are going to say are not going to matter to you. Sure. And that, that analogy applies not just to people, but to circumstances and everything else. So really, really, the, the, that was a long-winded answer to a simple question, which is get out ahead of it. You know, make alignment your priority as soon as you get up, because the, the sooner you get into alignment, the easier it's going to be for you to hold on to it. Okay. And then as far as your definition for alignment, um, as far as gauging whether you are or you aren't, is that based on your emotions? Yeah. The, the, the number one, you know, people like to measure it based on how many synchronicities they're experiencing and how much stuff they're manifesting. But really the only true indicator is, is how you feel. So the, the better you feel, um, obviously the, the stronger that level of alignment is going to be. Okay. All right. I like that. Yeah. Um, so as far as then everything that's going on right now, so redirect the attention rather than going out back inwards and um, finding how you're feeling and yeah. finding why you're feeling that way. With, with all of the, what's a good word, all of the circumstances that are unfolding all over the planet right now, especially in the States, you know, our default is to want to push against things. So anytime we're pushing against things that are unwanted, 
what happens is we continue to vibrationally add momentum to it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the tricky part because, you know, you and I, and, and most good people, we want positive change, right? A human being is a human being, no matter what their age, gender, race, all of that stuff. And it's unfortunate that there's people on the planet who, you know, don't have that level of awareness that everybody is equal and should be treated equally. And from a focus standpoint, from a vibrational standpoint, from a law of attraction standpoint, the best thing to do based on my understanding of law of attraction is to focus on the good people, focus on the positive circumstances, focus on the potential change that's all possible through the current contrast and through the, the difficult times that a lot of people are going through right now. 